Mutembe TV welcomes you back to the Kenya political arena from Nairobi, Kenya. Now hunger and high cost of living gave Raila fuel for mass action. In summary, the first day of the demonstrations, Friday went down largely peacefully. President William Ruto moved to poach opposition MPs to the government side to cement his control over parliament and bitter falling out from the disputed outcome of the last year's presidential election left the country badly polarized. Mass protests called by Kenya opposition leader pose a new national security threat for President William Samoy Ruto, whose administration is already under mounting pressure to tackle a high cost of living and impact of a prolonged drought that has left about 5.4 million people facing hunger in the next three months. Opposition leader Raila Odinga on Thursday announced a program of mass action, including civil disobedience and demonstrations to protest alleged fraud in the 2022 elections that propelled Ruto into power and demanded electoral reforms ahead of the 2027 polls. Mr. Odinga also cited the president's perceived control of parliament and the judiciary and ethically skewed public service appointments among their grievances. The veteran opposition leader, who addressed a tense press conference clad in combat-type gear similar to a Roosevelt's Rough Rides uniform worn by the U.S. Volunteer Force in 1898 Spanish-American War, also unveiled a resistance movement dubbed the Movement for the Defense of Democracy, MDD. MDD's youthful members have appeared at recent anti-government rallies, donning maroon berets, possibly inspired by the defunct Red Beret pressure group behind Uganda opposition leader Robert Kyagulani, popularly known as Rob Bobby Wine, who is challenging your William Seven's third seven-year rule. Mr. Odinga maintains that the mass action will be peaceful and lawful and the Kenyan government has yet to issue a statement directly addressing his latest move, even as the opposition leader Friday stepped up in his anti-government rhetoric at a public rally in Migori Western. The first day of the demonstrations Friday went down largely peacefully in other western Kenya towns of Kisumu and Mbale where Mr. Odinga's ODM party enjoys considerable following, with police avoiding confrontations with the protesters. But remarks by the Interior Cabinet Secretary Kithore Kindiki on Thursday enhanced police activity around some government installations in recent days and newly appointments by the National Security Council suggest that the government is anticipating trouble and treating the unfolding political tension as significant national security concern. Professor Kindiki, while addressing a recent incident where Mr. Odinga was blocked from entering the Director of Criminal Investigations headquarters to show solidarity with former Interior Cabinet Secretary Fred Matiangi, warned of firm ruthless and decisive action against anyone who tries to forcibly access protected areas or security facilities. On Wednesday, when a 14-day ultimatum earlier issued by the opposition leader for Ruto to address their grievances or face mass action lapsed, police erected roadblocks around the state house in Nairobi and state lodge in Kisumu, while a march to state houses widely thought unlikely, despite the rhetoric of the recent opposition rallies, the political and economic environment makes mass protests note much less of a tinderbox for the country. Bitter falling out from the disputed outcome of last year's presidential election among Kenya's political elite left the country badly polarized. As part of his efforts to consolidate power, Ruto upon his inauguration as Kenya's fifth president in September last year moved to poach opposition MPs to the government side to cement his control over parliament. In an unprecedented move by a Kenyan president, in an unprecedented move by a Kenyan president, he has been seen to go after his predecessor Uru Kenyatta by targeting his family business network. He has also ruled out talks with the opposition over electoral reforms. But Ruto's power maneuvers and intransigency have also ended up forging a formidable opposition alliance against his government outside parliament led by wealthy former president and veteran opposition leader who cut his political teeth in the country's anti-dictatorship trenches of the 1990s. This is Mutembe TV. Goodbye.